How to create a navigational menu in WordPress, part one. So go to your WordPress website, go to the admin area, go to appearance and see if you see editor here. Now this part is important to understand because currently WordPress has two different ways to create menus in WordPress. One is the block based style, one is the regular style. And if you see the editor, then you have a block based approach, which is not as mature right now. It's not very popular. That's why most people won't use it. So I'm going to show you how to switch to other method. So to change your approach, you have to change the theme of your website. Let me show you how to do that. Just go to appearance and type themes or select themes. And you'll start seeing the current themes that are installed on your site. You might have the 2025 theme active. That's the reason for seeing the editor here. That's completely all right. This is the default theme with WordPress. Let's click the add new button or add theme button. On the next page, you'll see themes like this. Go to the search option here and type and search for the Sydney theme, right? This is the word I just highlighted. And this is the Sydney theme you'll see. Let's click on it and let's install it now. So once the Sydney theme is installed, you see a notice like this and you'll also have the option of checking out starter size. This is gonna be very powerful, so let's click here. So starter templates is installed and what starter templates are actually free templates, completely built websites that you can install and use on your website. So let's use the plumber one right now. You can use any one that you like, but let's start with this one. So I'll click import and after selecting a couple of options, you'll start seeing this, but wait for it to finish and you'll see a completely new website and I'm gonna show then how to change the menu there. So the Import is finally done and you can see the website here and this is what you want to customize, right? The actual menu. So let me show you how to do that now. So to change the menu, now we have to go into appearance once again. So find the appearance section and now you'll see some other menus here and we have to go into the menus option. So this is what the menu page will look like. Make sure you've selected the primary menu here and click the select button. Otherwise, you'll see the menu is different. Now pay attention here. Home, about, blog, shop. These are the menu entries and this is exactly what you see here. Home, about, blog shop. So if you change these around, the menu will change accordingly and that's how you customize your menu. So let me show you an example. If I scroll here and I click sample page, let's say I want to add that sample page to my menu. I'll select it and I'll click add to menu and it'll magically show up here in a second. Now you can see here. Now let me change it around and drag it. This is one thing you can do and place it above, about and it'll also add a little bit of hierarchy. So now if I save my menu here and refresh the page here, the menu side, then now you see I have the home and about and it also has a drop down. So it's a multi-level menu now. So I can change this around once again, drag it here and make sure it's level with everything else. Once again, save the menu and then refresh the website again. And now we have this menu. Now it might look congested because I have squeezed the page, but it's actually going to show up in the perfect way. So this is how you actually change your menu. Make sure the menu changes around here and it will reflect here. Make sure to follow for part two where I'll show you even more customization options.